the Karoot's Prehistoric Party is coming out for Wii U, Wii, 3DS, and DS on March 19th. And it's just like the film. The film's coming out at the same time, and it's about the Karoot's family, who's the first prehistoric modern family. They're out there discovering whole new things in the world that are unfamiliar with. They're learning things about fire and learning about all these whole new worlds that have come across them. And meeting these interesting, awesome creatures. And these creatures are hybrid creatures like there's a crocopup, which is a, a hybrid between a crocodile and a puppy. There's, you know, there's the trip gerbils and the punch monkeys and stuff like that. So you get to discover this whole new things that they never seen before because they've been familiar with just the same things every day because they're they're cavemen. They go out there and they hunt, they scavenge and all that good stuff. And in the video game, basically what you get to do is get to play a party game and experience all these characters in all these entire worlds and be able to see how all this stuff interacts and you know and, and do it in a really fun way. Kind of be active with your friends and family while you're playing four player multiplayer on the console games and be able just to see all these different worlds and just kind of kind of challenge all your friends and see what you can do best. Yeah. Maybe so. You have um, both modes. You have the turn-based mode where you know um, we have to basically collect as many eggs, do you know mini games, and everything before um, the the turn set finishes. And then you have the trailblazer mode. Who can you tell us about uh, each of these modes? Exactly. So there's two gameplay modes you can play, and there's the trailblazer mode, as you mentioned. The trailblazer mode basically starts you from start to finish. Whoever wins the game at the end, whoever finishes first, wins. It's kind of traditional uh, board game style of play. The other way of play is hunter and gatherer mode. A hunter and gatherer mode basically allows you to uh, choose from a time limit game or choose from a, a number of rounds you want to play in. And by doing that, you also, instead of playing to whoever finishes first, you're trying to collect as many eggs as possible. So you're playing these different variety of mini games. And these mini games allow you to collect, you know, earn these eggs, you know, based on whoever wins in first, second, third, or fourth place in the game. So by collecting, by earning as many eggs as possible, um, you'll be able to, you know, compete against your friends and hopefully win and become the ultimate crew champion. And now what's also cool is that, you know, some of the celebrity voiceovers for the um, the actual movie, it sounds like they're in the game. Are there uh, borrow ad-libs or is it anyway, how that works? Um, you're close. I mean, they, they're actually very great sound alike actually. They're not the actual actors in the film. The, the film has great a great uh, cast of characters. And I think a lot of their personalities do come across in the video game. And we, we worked very closely with DreamWorks to make sure that we kept, we capture that same feel and essence of everything what the what the, uh, the film portrays. So, you know, having those, uh, those sound alikes have definitely helped and I think players will be familiar with some of the characters they watch in the film and have a good time and kind of reenacting and seeing uh, what they can do with that. Right. Now this game uses utilizes the Wii Pad. So um, as far as the Wii Pad, is there like a tactical advantage, or is there certain game modes that specifically, uh, as far as like the party modes specifically for the Wii Pad, like you know you you know you versus us or something like that? Absolutely. Uh, the Game Pad is a uh, you know it's a great feature for the Wii U, and the Game Pad allows the player to do you know some interesting things. It's a different element of, of game styles that we might be familiar with in years past. Uh, I don't think it really gives you any sort of advantage, but it definitely helps you kind of take control of the game and at least give you. You, let you be kind of the, the ringleader or the, or the supervisor of the game, making sure everybody's doing everything right and making sure the game's progressing as the way it should be. Um, you know, the Wii U gamepad does give you the advantage, you know, of being able to play the game um, on your own. If your family want to watch TV or something like that, be able to play the game, uh, you know, by its, you, turn, you can have the game, you're like the football game going on the TV while the, while the kids can go play the games by themselves using the screen of the gamepad. So that's pretty cool that the uh, players could, could be able to do that and take advantage of that technology.